Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's lesson, I will continue to talk about some of the English expression phrases that native speakers use in their day-to-day -day conversations. And this is a series three. And before I go on, just like to remind you to please subscribe to my channel and also to hit the like and the share buttons. So without further ado, let's begin. The first expression is be disappointed with. This means to be upset or not happy about something. Did you like the restaurant that you went to last night? We were disappointed with the small portions. Did you like the restaurant that you went to last night? We were disappointed with the small portions. Why are you returning your new pan? I'm disappointed with the quality. Food sticks to the bottom easily. Why are you returning your new pan? I'm disappointed with the quality. Food sticks to the bottom easily. Would you stay at the same hotel the next time you visit the city? I'm disappointed with their service. There's no hot water at times. Would you stay at the same hotel the next time you visit the city? I'm disappointed with their service. There is no hot water at times. Be dressed in. Be dressed in. It means to wear or have clothes on. For the interview, you should be dressed in business attire. For the interview, you should be dressed in business attire. The kids are dressed in costumes for the school play. The kids are dressed in costumes for the school play. People are usually dressed in green on Earth Day. People are usually dressed in green on Earth Day. She's dressed in a beautiful pink gown. She's dressed in a beautiful pink gown. Be filled with. Be filled with. It means to be full of or have plenty of something. The cupcake is filled with icing on top. The cupcake is filled with icing on top. The kitchen sink is filled with water. The kitchen sink is filled with water. The air is filled with smoke. The air is filled with smoke. The boy's shoes are filled with dirt. The boy's shoes are filled with dirt. The next expression is be fond of. It means enjoy, love, like, or be pleased with something. She's fond of making silly faces to make people laugh. She's fond of making silly faces to make people laugh. What animal do you like? I'm very fond of kittens. What animal do you like? I am very fond of kittens. Everyone is fond of ice cream. Everyone is fond of ice cream. While I love watching movies, I'm not too fond of horror films. While I love watching movies, I am not too fond of horror films. Be interested in. Be interested in. This means attracted by something or someone, or have a curiosity for something or someone. He keeps asking the girl out. He is interested in her. He keeps asking the girl out. He is interested in her. 
Lisa is very interested in operas and wants to become an opera singer one day. Lisa is very interested in operas and wants to become an opera singer one day. Would you like to apply for a new credit card? No, I'm not interested in having another credit card. Would you like to apply for a new credit card? No, I am not interested in having another credit card. Jimmy is interested in aviation and wants to become a pilot when he grows up. Jimmy is interested in aviation and wants to become a pilot when he grows up. Be late for. Be late for. It means to not be on time. Hurry up! Don't be late for your doctor's appointment. Hurry up! Don't be late for your doctor's appointment. Tina was late for school this morning because she missed her bus. Tina was late for school this morning because she missed her bus. Let's go, or you'll be late for the game," says Mom. Let's go, or you'll be late for the game," says Mom. Hi, when will you guys be here? There's a lot of traffic, so we'll be late for the party. Hi, when will you guys be here? There's a lot of traffic, so we'll be late for the party. Be proud of. Be proud of. It means a feeling of satisfaction about someone. Lily is starting to walk. Mom is so proud of her. Lily is starting to walk. Mom is so proud of her. Congratulations on winning first place. You must be proud of yourself. Congratulations on winning first place. You must be proud of yourself. He works hard at school so that his mom and dad can be proud of him. He works hard at school so that his mom and dad can be proud of him. The next expression: be full of. Be full of. It means to be filled with or have plenty of something. The poor girl's eyes are full of tears. The poor girl's eyes are full of tears. Fries are not healthy for you; they are full of grease. Fries are not healthy for you; they are full of grease. I live in a family that's full of love and joy. I live in a family that's full of love and joy. The sky is full of stars. The sky is full of stars. The next expression: be good at. Be good at. It means to have a talent for something, or to have the skills for something. The old lady is not very good at riding a bike. The old lady is not very good at riding a bike. Grandma is good at telling stories. Grandma is good at telling stories. The dog is good at doing tricks. The dog is good at doing tricks. Be impressed by. Be impressed by. It means showing respect or admiration for someone or something. Did you enjoy the school's open house? Absolutely, I was impressed by the students' paintings. Did you enjoy the school's open house? Absolutely, I was impressed by the students' paintings. Joe is always late to work. I am not impressed by his work ethics," says the supervisor. 
Joe is always late to work. I am not impressed by his work ethics," says the supervisor. The tourists are absolutely impressed by the beautiful scenery. The tourists are absolutely impressed by the beautiful scenery. The audience is impressed by the band's performance. The audience is impressed by the band's performance. Be interested in. Be interested in. This means attracted by something or someone, or have a curiosity for something or someone. He keeps asking the girl out. He is interested in her. He keeps asking the girl out. He is interested in her. Lisa is very interested in operas and wants to become an opera singer one day. Lisa is very interested in operas and wants to become an opera singer one day. Would you like to apply for a new credit card? No, I'm not interested in having another credit card. Would you like to apply for a new credit card? No, I am not interested in having another credit card. Jimmy is interested in aviation. And wants to become a pilot when he grows up. Jimmy is interested in aviation and wants to become a pilot when he grows up. Be ready to. Be ready to. It means be prepared to. It's been a long day for Mike, and he is all ready to go to bed. It's been a long day for Mike, and he's all ready to go to bed. The athletes are ready to sprint to the finish line. The athletes are ready to sprint to the finish line. Cheese is a type of ready-to-eat food. Cheese is a type of ready-to-eat food. Are you ready to present your project tomorrow? Absolutely. Are you ready to present your project tomorrow? Absolutely. Be responsible for. Be responsible for. It means be obligated to do something, or be in charge of something. Parents are responsible for nurturing their children. Parents are responsible for nurturing their children. My dad is responsible for walking me to school in the morning. My dad is responsible for walking me to school in the morning. You are responsible for making your bed in the morning. You are responsible for making your bed in the morning. You are responsible for looking after your own belongings. You are responsible for looking after your own belongings. Hello. So that's it for today's lesson. If you're interested. In other English lessons, please take a look at my other videos as well, and also to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and to hit the like and the share buttons. Until next time, bye.